All right, we're gonna try to roll some dirt today. I was also thinking while I walked up here, what I really should have done is went over and looked at my buddy Ron's plow because he's got a five, I wanna say his is a 556, I think. It's still, a, it's still a double channel frame plow like this. Um, it's been so long since I looked at it. I'm pretty sure it's a 556 though. But anyway, his hitch is set up on there, set up on a 30 inch, or for plowing on 30 inch, because I pulled that plow with this before. And it worked just fine. I should have just went over and looked at his hitch and got dimensions off it to figure out where mine needed to be, but if it comes to that, we might still do it, but for now, we'll try what I got. 45 degree cold star, actually it might be a tick over that. It was 45 degrees in my truck, but, or in the thermometer in my truck, but 45 degree cold start, no manifold heater. How do you like them apples? So as I said before, as I said yesterday, I got was out here and I got all this field all flagged out. Um because I fully intended to plow start at least start plowing this last night, but just ran out of daylight. Um but I went through, I got all my headlands. That's this flag right here, and I got hopefully I can see them from the tractor seat. The weeds are a little tall, but I got all my headlands flagged out and then I got there's gonna be a back furrow there a back furrow here and then a back furrow off of that corner and then the back part will be plowed to a dead furrow so it'll be a back furrow there a dead furrow here a back furrow in the center a dead furrow a back furrow and then a dead furrow so The other field's actually gonna plow easier because I'll probably just have one dead furrow. There'll be a dead furrow in the long rows, a back furrow up the center, and then a dead furrow in each of the short rows. And then I'll have to, there's a little doink in the back, I'll have to plow first. That way I'm not running over plowed ground, but that field will plow easier because it's not so goofy shaped. but i'm gonna let that warm up for a minute since it was kind of chilly last night and i gotta put teeter in the house mom and dad are not home this morning so she ought to be really impressed when i stick her in there and leave but and we will be right back all right we're ready to get rolling um the very first thing i'm gonna do just to get it all out of the way is go through and strike off all my lines from my headlands. That way I just, all those lines are there. And for all the idiots that commented on my last video, or on the, that one, on the video of plowing my boss's hay field, it said, your plow's not working right, the back bottoms aren't going in the ground. I'm not plowing at this point. I'm each simply taking the front bottom. Although the way the geometry works off on this, you end up with about the first two and a half and making a line across the end of the field so that I know where to pick up the plow and set the plow back down so that my headlands stay straight so that they're easier to plow shut when you're done plowing. That's all this is. Apparently that was hard, hard for some people to figure out.
fence struck off and I can tell you right now just by the way the plow was acting I'm gonna have to lengthen my uh, lift lengths to get the hitch to go down further so I'm gonna run up to the house real quick and do that okay we're ready to roll in theory I dropped the or lengthened the lift lengths about an inch which on a three-point hitch is a big deal it seems to have done a pretty good job of what I intended because now the plow picks up pretty much level when you raise the three-point all the way so I guess we'll try it and find out but I'm gonna have to get the back furrow done and then we'll make the first pass and see first pass in the furrow and then see where we're at tell you what I dare say it's good enough for who it's for the only pass you can tell is the one that this plow always does it's the back furrow which I mean you're gonna notice that anyhow because you got your hump where you laid the two furrows together but so there's that pass and then I made two passes here and you can't tell one from the other so I'd say she ain't set too terribly bad 
it'd be sweet to find an on land hitch for it so I could pull with duels. But finding an on land hitch for this plow ain't easy. But boy, does she sound good. Holy shit. I haven't even opened her up all the way yet because these rows are so short. And she doesn't even know that that plow's back there. So. I really need to get the pump done in a 1955 so that it's running the same as this because holy shit the difference that makes. But I'm going to go ahead and get these short rows finished up real quick off camera because there's a lot of maneuvering and bullshit going on here. And uh, we'll catch you when I get started on longer rows. Well, this day might get cut short. Them, them short rows up there that's all sand plows real easy i mean like blow sand the minute you get out of them short rows you get into some of the hardest damn clay that i farm period i can't get the plow to hold a steady depth i cannot we had somewhere around an inch and a tenth to an inch and a quarter depending on where you were at of rain this week and i'm i'm rolling dust like it is still it's 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 rock hard what are you doing teeter like look at the way Look at the way it's shattering on the sidewall of the furrow. It's so damn hard. My coulters aren't even really going in the ground. I don't think we're going to get this done today because I don't feel that I can do a decent job of plowing because I can't get the plow to stay in the damn ground. Like, this is ridiculous. And then right here, it came up out. I mean, there's moisture there. It's just not nearly enough. I was not expecting it to be this goddamn hard. Holy shit. And if you can't get the plow to stay in the ground, there ain't no sense in plowing because you ain't gonna do a good job. Although this kind of shoots the whole weekend to hell. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it because I, I guess, huh, punk clay tile. We fixed so many tile lines out here, it ain't funny. So there's little pieces of clay everywhere, but yeah, I don't think. Wow. Until we get until we get a decent amount of rain to let actually soften this ground up. Holy shit. I'll make a round so that you can see how she does, but I'd... I think I'm going to call it for the day because, like I say, I do not feel that I can do a decent job of plowing with the ground conditions the way they are. Which, this is going to say a lot for how the rest of fall is going to go if we don't start getting some rain. Not that I want rain because it's going to slow up getting everything dried down, but holy shit, we ain't going to get any decent tillage done if, aside from ripping. Unless we get some rain, because you, you're going to struggle to get a chisel plow on the ground if it's this damn hard. Especially a disc chisel. So, anyway, I'll make a round here real quick just so that I can say I showed you the tractor plowing, but I think that's it for the day.
finds hard spots and all it wants to do is keep doing this And this isn't the first time I've plowed this field. I mean, this field is notoriously hard, but normally you can get the plow to go on the ground and stay in the ground, and it keeps doing shit like this. Or as you probably saw, that second bottom there actually tripped the ground was so damn hard. So rather than continue and make a mess of things, I'm, like I say, I'm probably as much as I hate to do it because I want to get this job done, probably just going to go ahead and call her quits. Which kind of screws my whole weekend up because my whole re weekend revolved around getting this done. So now I got to figure out something else to do. Well, I, I got stuff to do. That's not a problem, but. So anyhow, I guess as much as I hate to call it, that's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully I'd I don't know what the next one's gonna be now. Okay, I'm not done being thoroughly amazed how hard this ground is yet. I wanna come clean a clean a bottom of, of a furrow out and see if there's even any moisture at the bottom of that. Cause that's just knucking futz. Anytime I plowed in the past, you get guys that say, your ground ain't hard. You ain't plowed ground till you plow ground like hers. Well, yeah, because most of the time that I've been plowing so far, we've had decent soil moisture. Take our ground, dry it out for two months, and then you're plowing a brick. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera down here. Of course, I'm also in a bad spot. This is the spot where plow is actually. Let's go back here, because this is where I was plowing at a decent depth. Although, you can still see the sidewalls getting all busted to hell because the, the coulters are not going. Like, if the coulters were going in the ground, you would see. Oop, hold on, a phone call. I guess Shelly's mother just bought a little Massey Ferguson something or other, so. I gotta go pick that up here at some point today, which now that I'm free, I can actually go do. Okay, this is a spot where the plow was not even going in the damn ground. Actually, this is a spot where it would appear that the back bottom was just tripped. Mind you, this field was ripped. When did I? When did I rip this? I'm pretty sure I ripped ripped this on. Did I have a video ripping this? I think I did. It was like not very long ago. This field was ripped, and it just tightened right back up. I mean, there is a little bit of moisture there, but basically just enough to change the color of the soil because that stuff is, that stuff is hard. Wow. And that tells you a lot about how bad the crops around here were suffering for a while. If we've had that much rain and it hasn't even put enough moisture back in the ground to soften anything up, holy shit balls. I really wanted to get this plowed today, but I just don't think we can, I, well, I, I, I'm obviously we're looking at it right now. You just can't do a good job of plowing because the ground's so hard. And when it does this, as you can see now, my furrow's got an ink -in, in it because when the plow can't get down to a decent plowing depth, then all of a sudden your land sides aren't doing their job and it'll actually take the plow 
and the plow will start side drafting because there's no the land sides aren't there to back it up so then all of a sudden you start doing all this dumb shit all right let's see she sent me a picture of this tractor we might take you along to go pick this tractor up just to have more for this video oh it's like a to i'm guessing it's about a to 30 yeah we can get that on a small trailer I wish I, I wish she would have talked to me first. I would have probably advised her against buying that. Not that there's anything necessarily wrong with it, but they're just not as, like if you had like a Massey Ferguson, I don't know, like a 275, I'm trying to think of what like the newer 70s squared off style would be, like a 275 or something like that. I don't know my Massey number's that great. I guess that would be up into the 80s to get to that newer style, but where you got remotes and a three and a full and a good three point and more horsepower and diesel and... So, anyhow. I guess I'm gonna go tinker a little bit here and I told her after lunch we'd go get that tractor, so. What the hell, I guess we'll go get a tractor here after lunch. Well, it sounds like I am not all the way on the quick catch. Um, Shelly's mom decided to drive that tractor home, so I guess I don't got to haul it now. But went in to eat lunch and got a text from my cousin. He said there's a big dead ash tree. down at my uncle's place is there something stuck in the dam nope there's a big big dead ash down in the bean field at my uncle's and he can't move it so he asked if i'd bring the loader tractor over and grab it
one he was actually talking about. Still could have done it with a chainsaw. two pounds right there I'd be impressed all righty well I know things kind of got random as hell here today in this here video but tis what it is it's too wet or too dry to do anything I, it, it's not normally a problem you have in farming except when it's too dry to grow anything then it's obviously a problem but um yeah so Tomorrow, I guess I'll get the head put on the 7300 and get it ready to start cutting beans and see what I can come up with. Might try to, I'm going to go check a couple fields yet this afternoon and at least on the first, the first fields that I got planted, I got three of them. So maybe one of them's ready and we might be able to go cut some beans yet tomorrow. I don't know. I'll at least get the combine ready anyhow. So I don't know if I'll video that or not because it's just putting the head on, but we shall see so i guess for real this time that's it for this one and we'll catch you guys on the next one